having lived a simple and minimalistic lifestyle for years now, I wanted to share these tips that I've implemented into my life that have allowed my home to be far more organized while also drastically reducing the time doing so. Allow the investment in tools. What I have discovered as I've gone further down the minimalist mindset is you begin to see most things as unnecessary. Why spend $30 on an organizer for under the sink when I can just throw the dishwasher detergent in there and search the seven C's for where the Clorox wipes went? $30 for a bathroom organizer is an absolute ripoff when I can just spend hours each week scrubbing mysterious scary things off the soap bottles. I personally believe that the way that you actually conquer clutter and disorganization is to make things as easy as possible for you. To have things that aid in your life, it doesn't mean that you are less than. Or if you use money to invest in something towards yourself, that doesn't mean that it's a waste, as things and money are 100% designed to help you in your life. It doesn't need to be logical. Something that I found was continuously cluttering up my environment was having things in the logical place, but not necessarily the place where I consistently was using the item. For example, in my closet, I have a hanging shoe rack, and while this does drastically help keep things more organized, I failed to realize the practical use aspect of this. I wear three different pairs of shoes almost every single day. I have a pair I go do my cardio in, my amens, and well, these bad boys. I began to notice that these shoes in particular were scattered all over the place instead of putting them back into their respected areas. I kept trying to be more disciplined, and no matter how hard I tried, the same result kept happening. So naturally, I just got upset at myself. But in reality, I was creating resistance to something that could have been far easier. I was making something overly complicated just for the sake of logical organization. So I just put my daily use shoes in an easy to access place. And just to summarize this, as we are working on getting our environment more organized, typically we go at it very logically, but sometimes this negates the intentional purpose of what you're actually wanting to do. Sometimes you need to decrease the proper organization so it serves you better in your life. At the end of the day, everything we're doing is trying to make our lives easier. Treat yourself. Many of you know I love swimming. I swim at Barton Springs, a wonderful spring-fed pool here in Austin, Texas year-round, and probably just by looking at my traps, you know I love working out. But something I really do not like doing is dishes. Every single aspect of it is a nightmare for me. And no matter how on top of it I try to be, I continuously have a stack of dishes in the sink. So instead of being super lame and just waiting for my girlfriend to do it, I created a reward system to better help incentivize myself in doing dishes. If we want a pet or like a little kid to do something, we can go two ways about doing it. We can give them small treats, words of encouragement, play with them, or we can scream at them. We can punish them until they do it and be extremely authoritarian. And while I am not one to judge, I personally want to go with the cookie route. Because when it comes to ourselves, typically being kind is never an option. First, we want to just humiliate ourselves. We want to say disgusting comments to ourselves, berate ourselves, do all of these nasty things, making already a difficult thing for us to do already even more unbearable. So instead of sitting there and just hating doing dishes, I said, once I do the dishes, let's go swim. Once I do the dishes, let's go for a workout. Once we do the dishes, let's go eat one of our favorite snacks. And I made sure that when I did the dishes, I actually treated myself because we can't be lying to ourselves. We can't say, when I go do the laundry, we'll go get coffee and then don't get coffee because now you're creating already a negative experience and you're lying to yourself and it's gonna be horrible. So actually treat yourself. Give yourself that little bit of kindness and then that way you are creating a negative experience and slowly you are turning that down into something that you can handle. I know that it sounds silly that we have to treat ourselves for what's supposed to be just these adult tasks that we can all do, but sometimes we need to do these things. It's difficult for a reason, so instead of just being nasty about it, let's just turn it a little bit. Let's make it a much more uh, enjoyable experience for us. Incorporate multifunctional items. 
Single use items can literally bring a tear to a grown man's eye. <laughs> hey, who left this bowl of onions here? And in my apartment, I did the best I could to make sure as many things as possible served more than one purpose. And I have no idea what the proper names of all of these things are, but probably already what you've gathered from this video, that makes sense. This counter is probably the most used item in the apartment. It offers the ability to rest our dogs on here when we were reading or watching a movie, allows for drinks and stuff to be set on it so I don't need side couch tables. It also lifts up so I have a place to eat or build Legos, and inside we store our living room things. Typically it is loaded with board games we play, or artistic things, my favorite SpongeBob blanket, and some charger cords. Underneath it allows room for much bigger books, and this is where I personally store my journals as it is easy to access. Then we come over to my TV stand, and it has plenty of storage for all of the rest of my books, and has two compartments where it holds my Xbox, and then some DVDs on the other side. Our newest addition is this Squatty Potty that replaced this stool we were using for over a year. And it has a motion nightlight built in, so we don't need an actual nightlight or a much brighter light as we do late night adventures in the Mines of Moria. So these three things have saved me from having to buy a bookshelf, those side couch tables or whatever it is that they're called, um, all the storage for my blankets and my games, and it, and it saved me from having to get a nightlight. So not only did it save me a lot of money, also mentally, I only have to think about these three different things instead of all of the other things that would be in my environment. Avoid a big mess, wipe as you need. Ever since I was a little kid, I always hated chore day. Mostly because it meant one day out of the week was just gone simply to do chores. And as I have gotten older, I still do not like having a chore day, but it's for a different reason. I find that when we have a chore day, it makes us far more likely to not pick up one of the simple things that we could have managed as we're going to just push it off to the day where we do chores. Why clean up all of the toothpaste off the mirror on Wednesday when Sunday is chore day? I personally find that this is like giving us a permission slip to be messy each day. Not to mention, typically when we do a deep clean day once a week, we get so burnt out that like Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, we're having to recover from that, which means we're not going to be tidying up as we go. And life is messy, so naturally, things are going to get messy as soon as you're done cleaning. So I go a different route. I give myself about five minutes every single day to do the easiest tidying up that I can do. If I notice the mirror is dirty, I grab the cleaner and a towel and boom, it's done in like two minutes. If I notice an impressive skid mark, well, I just grab the toilet bowl cleaner and I get to work. Maybe it takes 30 seconds. Somebody put me out of my misery. <laughs> Have mercy on my soul. And I am not naive to the fact that my apartment is much smaller and I don't have as much responsibilities as most of you. But ultimately, I just wanted to show that when we do a lot of small things, it really compounds to a much bigger outcome. If we just kind of tidy up the easy things that we can do whenever we see it, whenever it comes to that chore day that we might need to have, it's gonna be far simpler and overall easier to manage. Give it a name. So now that we have a bunch of different tips to help organize our environment, Besides the just natural messiness of life, it's important that we peel back a couple of the layers to uncover why is it truly that our environment is messy. Typically, we just say, I don't have enough time, or I am too busy, or the kids just make the environment so messy. We have some of these just kind of principal answers that we just put, and we, we don't really look behind what's actually going on. So I do this practice with almost everything that causes resistance in my life, and I just call it why? So let's take my disdain for dishes, for example. Why are there always dishes in the sink? Well, because I don't like doing dishes. Well, why do you not like doing dishes? Well, because I feel like it's very time consuming and it's very repetitive. Well, why do you feel that way? Because it, it makes me feel like I have issues with my discipline. Well, why, does, why do you feel that way? Because when I was younger, and I had to do dishes naturally, just as a chore to help out the household, whenever my parents would make a nice meal, afterwards, my brother and I would clean up the dishes. And as we would do that, I would sit there, and I, or I would be doing the dishes as my parents sat down and were watching TV or whatever, and I would think, why would you not just put the dishes in the dishwasher when you're done using them? Or 
whenever I become an adult, I'm gonna make sure that I put the dishes in the dishwasher. Or I will make sure when I am a parent, I will never just have my kids do it and we'll make sure that we do it as a family. Now, this is important because as a kid, you think that you're kind of being like mistreated. In reality, it was very important that my parents were telling me to do these different things and helping me you know, develop these skill sets and all of these different things. So I'm not blaming them in any way, but as a kid, I'm forming these mindsets. So I did a vow to myself. So now as I'm an adult, I don't really remember that unless I go down to the basic principle of things. So I think, why do I hate dishes? Why do I feel like, why does it create all this emotion within me? Well, it's because I'm breaking the vow that my little self said. So I know that this kind of sounds silly, but when you think about it, there's something in your life, whether this, this might go way past organization, this is just something else with your life, or it has something to do with like laundry or sweeping the floor, there is something that is causing you discomfort. And so when we continuously ask why, you're gonna eventually come down to that fundamental principle. And then we can start to work on that. And all of a sudden, you are kind of recreating the path of something you didn't like doing. And all of a sudden it becomes far easier. So now whenever I do dishes, I still do, I do that treat myself stuff and everything, but I realize, hey, I'm not, just because I don't wanna put a fork in the dishwasher, I'm not being a liar or I'm not breaking the vow of my little self. I already had to heal that because it's, it's silly in the grand scheme of things. But anyway, I'm, I'm getting off track, but ultimately organization is kind of like this thing that we really struggle with and we always try to work on throughout our life. But whenever we feel and we get rid of the chaos within, naturally we want to create our environment to be more reflective of what we feel inside. So I found as I was able to kind of make myself feel better, my environment just naturally got cleaner. And then as I made sure instead of having these designated things or making it very complicated, to make it as simple as possible, it just made my life a lot easier. Naturally, then I wanted to clean my environment more and you create this nice cycle of things. It just makes everything so much easier. This video was kind of long. I know that I had a bunch of different silly things in it. So thank you guys for sticking through here to the end. I hope that you were able to find some sort of value in this. I know this is a little bit different than a video that I would normally do, but I, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.